Hello YouTube, this is EasySwagger95, and tonight I'm about to make an announcement on the newest IndyCar circuit coming to IndyCar in 2019 and beyond, so tune in right here, right now, let everybody, okay race fans? Street credit, the rookie police let us, now that's foolish, cause we don't act sweet. I can run 10 laps in a track, keep it moving, it's on now, making it bump loud, shaking it bump wild, breaking the bump style, faking the bump pal, dark, watch the bump, what now, watch the battle shit, it's up down, click, click, pow, pow, nah, 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 what, just what I Alright, welcome back to Easy Swagger 95, and we're, I'm just reporting on recently that the 2019 IndyCar schedule which has been released, it has been a new track coming to IndyCar in 2019, as Circuit of the America's racetrack coming to IndyCar in 2019. When I first heard about that, I was like, I knew that that's a track where Formula One has raced for the United States Grand Prix. Right, Formula One? Right, I'm right, okay? It was also called Circuit of the America's Road Course in Austin, Texas, all right? That's where the West Ridge Formula One race there each and every year because um I don't know what year they started so if you if you are watching this video right now comment down below if to let me know what year Formula One started racing there and everything but in 2019 IndyCar rolls into Austin Texas Road Course all right that is going to happen next. Season in IndyCar to replace the racetrack where the users go to a racetrack called Phoenix International Speedway, which is now known as ISM Raceway. Alright, because recently they undergo renovation and everything. And I said to myself, why didn't I have no race there or no more? Probably they should have kept it or something. But I'll have my 2019 IndyCar season schedule reaction coming up on this channel later this week. Alright, any car fans? Alright then. So I'll be right back for with the rest of the information. Alright, welcome back. And now a racetrack is is known as Circuit of the Americas at Austin, Texas, okay? I repeat, Circuit of the Americas Road Course to IndyCar which is coming on screen in 2019. And also, changing gears right now, furniture roll in NASCAR. That furniture roll is closing down due to failing to discover a new sponsorship in 2019. They're going to close down operations after 2018. Because um, they have won the championship of Montrix Jr. the previous season. And now, one year later, they're just going to go out of business? Wow. And uh, recently, that Fire Energy plans to leave NASCAR after this season. As soon as I heard about that, I knew the team of Furniture Roll. That probably marked the beginning of the end. Am I right or wrong? So comment if you if I'm right or wrong. Did Fire Energy leaving NASCAR and Furniture Roll spell the beginning of the end for Furniture Roll racing based out of Denver, Colorado? Did that spell the beginning of the end? Probably I'm right. Okay, because that team is going out of business. So sorry for them. They recently won a championship. Well, uh, there's nothing which I cannot say or do that will convince Furniture Roll to continue running operations with no sponsorship or no alliance. They went from Chevy to Toyota in 2016 to, to, to join an alliance with Joe Gibbs after successful with Chevrolet under the Hendrick Motorsports brand. And also... For NASCAR, is in a period of decline. Some people stopped coming to races, stage racing, playoff restructuring, and um, legends retiring. Among them, Jeff Gordon, Dale Earnhardt Jr., Tony Stewart, Mark Martin, Daniel Patrick, or other NASCAR drivers all decided to leave. Old faces are leaving, and new faces in NASCAR on the rise. Kyle Larson. Ryan Blaney, Daryl Bubba Wallace Jr., 
Chase Elliott, William Byron, and the rest of the other people in part of the NASCAR youth movement, including Daniel Suarez as well. And also Casey Kane may retire after this season as well. Okay? And also Dan Suarez might leave Joe Gibbs Racing to replace Casey Kane in 2019. Right? Right, okay. And and also Toyota Supra is coming to the NASCAR Xfinity series in 2019, alright? They're coming to the NASCAR Xfinity series to replace the Toyota Camry. And and as then when I heard about that, I said, why can't I just use the camera which which the cup series use? I don't know. Or something. And also and also, you heard what happened to Brian France months ago. Got in trouble outside of NASCAR. And also, probably the, is the French family trying to put NASCAR for sale? Or something? Because back in the 90s, NASCAR, IndyCar, and CART, respectively, reached a boom popularity. Certain races are sold out. TV revenue went up and everything. But now, for NASCAR, fans are not showing up to races. What do we have to do to get the fans back? What do we have to do to make NASCAR great again? Bring fans back, right? If I'm right, you could comment down below, right? Or you comment if I'm wrong. Maybe just try to get the fans back. Okay? Okay, everybody? And, all, and also, back to IndyCar right now. Because on day this side, at the Circuit of the Americas, Racetrack to the schedule in 2019. That's good for business. Right, IndyCar? Okay, that's very good. But this week, I will have my reactions to the schedule coming up on Easy Swagger 95 this week on YouTube, alright? And have a good night. See you this week.